The teachers, like, they sometimes teach you life lessons, especially, like, if you have, like, problems or something. They teach you how to get through it, and, like, they teach you how to be respectful and, like, work together. We had, um, virtue assemblies where we could see and recognize the people who showed the virtues. And we also have rosary helpers come in every month uh, to recite the rosary and show us um, the mysteries, like the wedding at Cana. We're not just friends with people in our grade. We also make friends with the kids in the grades below us and the kids in the grade above us. And it's just a big, warming community to everyone. Thank for every teacher that had an impact in my life. You guys know who you are. Uh, I wouldn't be this far without you guys. Um, I'm gonna do my part as an educator. I love our inclusivity. I love how we build so many relationships with the community, the police force. We have so many great clubs that just welcomes everyone and promotes faith every single day. It's just an awesome environment to be in. Dufferin Peel as a board um, only had one school that predated World War II, and everything else came with the rapid expansion out here in Dufferin Peel, uh, in the area of Brampton, Mississauga, and Caledon. Um, we had only a handful of schools, relatively speaking. We've exploded in growth, but at the same time, we've really been able to maintain our Catholic identity. The history of Catholic education in Dufferin County, northwest of Toronto, begins in 1864 with the establishment of Melanchthon Separate School System No. 7. The new school first operated in St. Patrick's Church and had 37 students and one female teacher. As the number of Catholics in the province grew, more schools were opened and school boards formed. By 1967, there were some 500 separate school boards in Ontario. In 1968, the Ministry of Education announced its decision to amalgamate the local Roman Catholic school boards. In Dufferin and Peel counties, the change was implemented in 1969 and brought together eight small separate school boards. They were the Mississauga Catholic Board, Albion, Bolton Wildfield, Brampton, Chincuzzi, Orangeville, Port Credit and Streetsville. There were 27 schools and 9,000 students from kindergarten to grade eight. It was eight small school boards that came together to uh, become Dufferin Peel. And each on their own, they were very successful. But becoming Dufferin Peel made us stronger, made us be able to do more things for the students. And we really have had an impact in all of the communities in which we, uh, in which we live. And so 50 years, there's been such growth and there's been such commitment on the part of the trustees that have gone before us. By, by the staff that have gone before us and certainly by our directors of education that have gone before us. The first chair of the board was Ed LeMay. The 16 board members, or trustees, operated out of a converted classroom at St. Patrick's School on Dixie Road. Their budget that year was $5 million. 
Over the last 50 years, much has changed. There are now 151 schools, 80,000 students, and some 11,000 employees. The board now operates out of a 74,000 square foot facility built in 1985, and the annual budget is approximately $1 billion. But the original mission that compelled those early Catholic settlers to provide a faith-based education for their children remains at the forefront. As a church, we believe that the education of the whole person, and Catholic education dwells on that, the whole person. And it's okay to have all your mathematical geniuses and your eloquent speakers and language people, linguistics and so on. But deep down, where is the faith of the individual? The faith is the foundation of our relationship to God and to our lives. And I find the school board but meets that goal of trying to bring God into their lives as best they can. organization that has really tried very, very hard to model itself after Catholic social teaching. Uh, so our students reflect that when they go out into the world and they take up causes of justice. Our faith is at the heart of absolutely everything we do. And so even from the smallest decisions that we make to the biggest one, it's our faith and our belief in Jesus that is here. And when you walk into our building, what do you see? You see Jesus. And it's really nice to have the juxtaposition of the risen Jesus, the stained glass, with Jesus on the cross. This is the reason we exist as a Catholic system. I know that not all provinces have Catholic education, so it's the fact that we are gifted enough to have a school and a safe environment where we are allowed to express our faith and grow in our faith and learn about our faith with others who might be going through the same thing as you. It just means so many generations of students being so fortunate to be surrounded by so many great role models and to be able to live in an environment where they can be themselves and be in such a strong knit community based with faith and all, such positive aspects. Children of God, big and small. tradition of excellence in Catholic education has been and continues to be more than just teaching students about religion. Whether seeking full funding for Catholic secondary schools, developing parish school relationships or community involvement, Catholic education in Dufferin Peel continues to be firmly rooted in the gospel. To some degree that means the connection of the bishop and the whole school board. But I think much more profoundly, it is at the parish level where parish, school, and home are united together, not as three islands joined by bridges, but as three facets of one great diamond that is Catholic education. It is in that personal involvement of parish, home, and school for the people to join together in the one common cause of Catholic education that makes Catholic education what it is meant to be. I think for 50 years, this board has worked really hard to nurture the relationships. This is probably one of the first boards that did groundbreaking work in establishing structures within the organization where we elevated parent voice. 
and, and I think that it really became a model for the Ministry of Education when they started looking at formalizing school councils. The students, the teachers, and even like the other school staff, like the resource teachers and the ERWs who help the kids with disabilities, I find that we're all very close. Like I find that everyone in the school, they're very kind and helpful to each other. We um, helped with Tooney Tuesday. We help with like um, roll out the quarters where the kids donate to share life. We helped Pancake Tuesday, and on we um, did Stations of the Cross, where we like read to like the schools about it, and it was really nice. Our school in general is directly linked to a charity, Big Brothers and Big Sisters. So throughout our year, all of our fundraisers are for them. It's the acts of charity that I think uh, are also reflected in the work that we do here in Dufferin Peel in um, trying to live out our call uh, to go out into the world and demonstrate that we are followers of Jesus. And this year and last year, 100% of all of our schools in Dufferin Peel fundraised for Share Life. And I think that that's a testament to um, the generosity that exists in this, in this community. Share Life is the annual appeal of the Archdiocese of Toronto. It supports 43 agencies across the Archdiocese that help families in crisis, people with special needs, the elderly, children and refugees, as well as supporting our seminaries and international programs in the developing world. Share Life's been in existence for 43 years and Dufferin Peel has been a proud supporter of the Share Life campaign since our inception. Many schools across the board have participated in the Share Life campaign either by hosting activities such as hockey games, spirit weeks, uh, hat days, chew gum days, crazy days, whatever the, whatever the case may be. Uh, some have done uh, uh, greater activities as school masses, etc. cetera, um, but all have participated in the Share Life campaign. And for the last two years, every school in the board has participated in the Share Life campaign. Since 1969, the Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board has fostered environments where every student feels welcomed in the school community as a child of God. Equity is about human dignity. It's about the, honoring the human dignity of everybody in our community, whether it's students, whether it's staff, uh, community partners. When you look at human dignity, it's about seeing the person for who they are, knowing that they're created in the image and likeness of God, and also to create situations and environments where they see their value, and they see that they're created in the image and likeness of God. Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord Equity and diversity are values that are also espoused by secular school boards. But in our Catholic tradition, it is who we are. The welcoming of all is an opportunity to welcome Jesus himself. It's different for us because it involves sacredness. So if I weren't in a Catholic school board, I might be quoting legislation. I might be looking at laws, but I know that the work that we do really speaks to honoring who everybody is. And that's outside to me the work of law and the work of uh, legislation. It's the sacredness of life. It's our calling. As anyone who is a Catholic knows, it's our calling to honor human dignity. We're a family of people who really believe in the positivity of children. We believe that if you provide them the right opportunities, they can be successful. And it takes a village to raise a child. And so the parents must be involved, the parish must be involved, um, and, and the school must be involved. The teachers are critical to our children's growth. Um, and the board's critical from the point of view of trying to provide them the best opportunities with the budget that we have. Many people may not be aware that there are many schools across Stuff and Peel that have breakfast programs, providing uh, breakfast for children who maybe aren't getting that basic meal at home. Many of our teachers go out of their way to support our students in ways that are beyond the classroom. 
Teachers reach into their pocket, uh, use of their resources to help students, to provide for students who maybe can't go on a school trip, who maybe don't have money for that special lunch day at school, and, and care for the students in ways that, that people don't realize that make us more than a system of just education. We are a, a system where our faith acts. We are a system where we bring the hands of Christ to those in need. Carter Newman, uh, grade three, that's why I just moved from Toronto. I had this French teacher. She just was more than a French teacher. She, she always kept me on a straight line because I'm not gonna lie, I was a knucklehead sometimes. So it was just one of those days, just being a kid. So that's why I was like, these teachers had an impact in my educational life. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even think about being a teacher. You know, we can say what we want about kids, but kids are kids, and they need our attention, they need our time, and they're struggling, some of them, and I find that the teachers, they pull out all the stops, and they really do their very best to somehow connect with and give these kids a sense of hope that they can learn, they can be better, they can do something worthwhile. And that's why I think our board does that. The teachers at my school, they're great. I really love them. They really do a great job at making us feel safe and they provide us with lessons that aren't exactly in the curriculum, like how to deal with problems, how to accept others, treat others with kindness and they really just do a great job at making everyone feel welcomed and providing us with a safe space to learn about our religion and faith. I am most impressed with one of the high schools where the young people have been, have been in difficulty perhaps at home or school and they left school and then they come back and uh, these teachers, and they're special teachers, I don't know where else they have that because of giving people a second chance, giving these young people who've been just perhaps cast aside by society will never amount to good. And these kids, thank God, they've got the strength in them to come forward. And uh, these teachers, they pick up whatever loose ends there are and try to mold it into a better life for them. kids coming into our schools and the parents and the community are able to see not just some of the visual signs, but they're also, it's a comfortable, safe, welcoming place, which reminds me of when I first stepped into a Catholic school so many years ago. I think it's my time to give back to those same students that kind of go on my path and I can gear them right to the right path like they did for me. It's just they instill the faith. You gotta have faith in everything in life because you can't just, just walk blindly. So if, if it wasn't for these teachers that told me to have faith in Jesus, and like and whenever you go through a tough situation, pray, it's like I always remember those things. Dufferin Peel is the community that I lived in. So for me, it was just natural to want to be part of that community. And I think that's 
to me, the most important thing about Dufferin Peel. It's about, it's a big board, but it's a small board. Initially, I thought I was going to put my son into private school. And then I met some people in the neighborhood who talked uh, so highly of Dufferin Peel. Um, you know, when you have a child and you think they're the smartest child in the world, and so you think that that child should be, you know, get a special education. Um, and so I quickly realized when I went to meet the principal that we were so welcomed. And uh, we felt that it was the place for our children to go. And before you know it, I was um, invited uh, to be the kiss and ride person uh, as a volunteer. And uh, eventually I got involved in the school council and uh, involved in the school. From there, I became more and more involved in education. The Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board includes the teaching of religion, family life, the practice of prayer and worship, and the presence of gospel values in the curriculum and daily life in the schools. Over the last 50 years, the board has worked hard to nurture relationships between the school, the parish, the home, and the community. Dufferin Peel alumni include journalists and TV personalities, scientists and doctors, lawyers, educators, bankers, artists, athletes, priests, and religious sisters who have gone on to make significant and unique contributions in their respective careers, industries, and communities. Their success is testament to the work and dedication of the trustees, volunteers, staff and teachers, as well as the unions and associations of the Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board. A legacy that began so many years ago with that first school in Dufferin County. classroom certainly has changed from what it was when the board first got established from a blackboard and chalk to a classroom that has smart boards, computers, and I believe that transition and transformation continues and we are there to support all those changes and we will continue to support all those changes in the years ahead. I think it's incredibly important to express gratitude to, um, to the employees that chose Dufferin Peel as a vocation, to our parish priests, our clergy, the Archdiocese of Toronto, Cardinal Collins, Bishop Wassenaar. They have all uh, helped to support and guide the Christian faith communities that we try to nurture in every one of our, our schools to all of our volunteers in our schools, to all of our wonderful parents, to all of the teachers, to all of our support staff, to all the people that work at the CEC and the, and the Keaton Center. Every single person has had a part of the growth of Dufferin Peel. And it's my hope that we will be able to continue to do so, certainly with support of the provincial government and always supporting Catholic education. <laughs> It's gratitude to our students who take very seriously their call to want to be followers of Jesus Christ. It's gratitude to our employees. It's gratitude to our trustees who um, had the vision to guide this system in a way that really reflects our, our call to be inclusive, to be compassionate, to be sensitive, uh, to be caring. And it's, um, it's certainly my own personal gratitude to an organization that provided all kinds of opportunity for me to live out my vocation uh, as a teacher in a faith-filled organization such as Stuff and Peel. When you think of those who have gone before us for these 50 years, it really sets a standard for us to be in our own way. People who follow their lead in being faithful, devoted disciples of Jesus, engaged in the work of Christ the teacher, which is really what Catholic education is all about. It means 50 years of excellence, 
It means 50 years of support for families. It means 50 years of developing community and strengthening community. Uh, it's 50 years of creating opportunities and creating opportunities for people who may not have those opportunities. And I think that's why Different Peel is so special. For 50 years, children have been praying um, to God. And not only have they been uh, studying about math, science, or language, and so on, they've been also um, getting to know God in religion and to learn their values and so you can spread them out to the world and so that the world can be a happy place where everyone can belong. I, I think it, it gives us purpose that 50 years we have existed because we believe in what we do. And we believe in the formation of our young people totally, with God at the center, of course, but to surround it with all the learning we can give them so they can aspire and be someone in the world around them. I'm very proud to be not only a graduate of the system, but having served on the board. And I've seen firsthand, not only with my involvement as a student, as a trustee, and now with the Share Life campaign, that Dufferin Peel is a vibrant community bringing the Catholic faith to life in everything that they do. Congratulations, man. You, you had a lot of successful students out of this board. Um, we have NBA players, entrepreneurs, you name it. Dufferin Peel Catholic has those type, type of credentials because they're doing the right thing. So if we can take care of the students onto that path, teach them their gift, and then use it in the education world or in the faith world, you did a good job. The school board is producing so many awesome schools with great teachers, great clubs, great um, guidance counselors who just work so hard to create such a positive student life. And I know I can't speak for all schools, but my school at least has been an awesome reflection of how great the school board is. Okay.